be working on the spill resistant pressure vacuum breaker. Um, we will uh, start by notify, identify, um, inspect, and observe. So this is a, looks like a one inch Wilkins 460XL, serial number 405804. Um, I will follow after that is documented by removing the canopy. I will continue to open the shutoff or the um, test cock to clear any debris. All right, so now we'll continue by connecting our high side to our test cock number one. So we'll connect our fittings. And the high side hose to test cock number one fitting. We'll bleed air from the test kit by first opening the valve. And test cock number one. Opening here, test cock number one, and then the bleed needle valve here to remove air. Uh, this customer had that turned off for some reason, so I made sure to turn it back on. Okay, so we're happy that the air has been cleared out. We will proceed to close shutoff valve number two and close shutoff valve number one. All right, so now I will open the air release valve. And monitor my gauge to see what the stabilized PSID is. Okay, it looks like we are stable at four PSID or 3.9 PSID. Okay, so now we will uh, keep this at the same level as the uh, equipment. We will do a quarter turn waiting for this to pop and then observing our pressure differential. Oh, it popped at 2 PSI. So now we will proceed to return everything to original. Um, we will close the air first. We will close the number one test cock. We will remove our connections. We will open up shutoff valve number one. 
open up shut off valve number two return the air inlet bonnet and that will conclude our past spill resistant vacuum breaker